we're asked to match the systems of differential equations to the correct slope field below. We could create a table of points x comma y, then determine x prime and y prime using the equations in which each vector in the vector field has components x prime comma y prime. We would then probably need to scale each vector by some constant. The result would be the slope field for each system. However, it's more common to use technology. In this lesson, we'll use a GeoGebra slope field generator, which is referenced above. So here's the website. By default, we have x prime equals x squared minus y squared minus four, and y prime equals two xy. Notice x prime is given by vx of x comma y, and y prime is given by vy of x comma y. We can change the scaling on the coordinate plane by changing the x and y mins and maxes. xn and yn change the density of the slope field. v changes the scale factor, meaning the length of the vectors, and vh changes the arrow size. We'll adjust these as needed. So for number one, we have x prime equals y squared, and y prime equals negative x squared. So we first enter y squared, tab, and then we enter negative x squared, enter. And we have the slope field showing on the right. This slope field looks pretty good as is, but I can tell by looking at the given slope fields, the x and y mins are negative two, and the x and y maxes are positive two. Let's go ahead and change those values. So we'll change again the x min to negative two, as well as the y min. We'll change the x max and y max to positive two. Notice now it doesn't match quite as nicely. Let's go ahead and change the density of the slope field. We'll change both xn and yn to five. And let's also increase v, which will increase the length of the vectors. That looks pretty good. Notice from the slope field, the point zero comma zero is a critical point where x prime and y prime are both zero. Let's go and look at the given slope fields. Notice this slope field does match slope field C. Number one is C. And now let's look at number two. We have x prime is equal to y tab. y prime is equal to the quantity x minus one times the quantity x plus one. Enter. And we already have a very nice slope field for the system. Again, analyzing the equations in the slope field, we can see x prime and y prime are both zero at negative one comma zero here, as well as one comma zero here, which are the critical points. And we can see the system given by number two matches the slope field A. And of course, the third system will match with the vector field B, but let's go ahead and graph it. We have x prime equals y plus x squared tab y prime equals negative x, enter. To make it better match the given slope field B, let's increase the length of the vectors by increasing the value of V. And again, analyzing the system and the slope field, we can see that zero comma zero is a critical point, that is where both x prime and y prime are equal to zero, and the slope field does match vector field B. The system of differential equations given by number three matches the slope field B. I hope you found this helpful.